Now we're here with uh, Braden Lofton, uh, tight end with Lewis Central High School. Uh, Braden, uh, you know, had a little seminar today on name, image, and likeness. Uh, you know, kind of a big topic these days. Um, what did you get out of it from these guys here at Open Doors? Well, it was great for them to come out and do all this stuff for us because it's obviously brand new. No one knows anything about it. And it's great for us to get to learn this at such a young age, you know, so when we go into college that we can really have that knowledge and to know what to do to really get our names out there and make some money. Right. And, you, you know, you kind of uh, kind of watched uh, how, how Thomas uh, kind of went through the whole recruiting process and, and a guy like him um, able to start taking advantage of this right away. Have you uh, talked to him about it at all? Yeah, I've talked to him a little bit about it, and uh, he's loving it. And uh, he's obviously uh, getting himself right right now with his uh, injury and stuff, but he's going to be a monster. Yeah. And, you know, it's kind of funny. We, we talked to uh, Hunter a little while ago, and, and he's never been like that big social media guy. Um, and uh, I think he kind of like – it opened his eyes a little bit to uh, mm -hmm. kind of incentivize him to, to get on social media yeah. a little more. Is that what you're going to kind of do? Too? Yeah, I mean, I'm on social media, but I'm not, like, the most completely active person. So, But they talked about in their little uh, talk down there just that you have to be able to know to say the right stuff. You know, don't be out there posting rap lyrics on your Twitter and stuff, you know. Just be classy and be a good person. And, you know, I mean, I'm sure Coach always harps on that anyway, uh, you know, trying to keep you guys uh, from stepping on your own. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Camrad is uh, – he's uh, really uh, hard on that. Make sure you don't – the rule number one at our school is don't be stupid. So <laughs> that's, a, that's a big thing for us. So uh, talk a little bit about uh, recruitment-wise uh, here this summer. Did you get a chance to uh, get out there after things opened up here? Yep. So uh, I went to a bunch of camps in June. And uh, really towards late June, I was looking to make my decision. And then uh, Kansas State came along, and I, it was a place I wanted to be. So so you pulled the trigger. I pulled the trigger. Uh, what are you looking forward to about uh, getting down to Manhattan? Mm, that's a great place, great coaches. The uh, team's a bunch of great guys, and they got a really special thing going on there, and I'm excited to get down there. Does it feel good to have that out of the way before your season starts? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's... I mean, back during COVID, it was all crazy, you know, phone call after phone call, Zoom after Zoom, and it's just finally be able to, able to build a relationship with those coaches and those coaches only and not having to do five phone calls a day, you know. What a, now, you know, with the news lately with Texas and Oklahoma looking to go to the SEC, um, it kind of leaves the Big 12 uh, up in the air right now. Um, is yeah. that something that you've been kind of thinking about? Yeah, I mean, it's something that I've thought about, but I'm going to go down there. I'm going to play football regardless of what happens. Kansas State's going to play big-time football, and we're going to be a big-time team. Awesome. Awesome. Evan? Uh, you went to uh, Nebraska's Friday Night Lights camp. How was that, and what did you learn, and did you get to interact with them? Some good players and coaches. So I uh, actually went to a private workout the same day. Oh, yeah. So I worked out with Nebraska with Coach Becton that day, and uh, I mean they were they were great guys. It was good to talk to them and get to know them and stuff. But yeah. he stays the place. He stays the place, baby. <laughs> a little full at tight end there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nebraska's got a big tight end room, so. All right, man. Well, we appreciate your time, and uh, you know we can't wait to see you guys strap it up for real here. And oh yeah. You know, It'll be a great team. Appreciate you.